Hey, 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 hey. My name is Villasaz. Back for episode 2. We're just gonna go straight into it. I haven't uploaded the first episode yet, so... I haven't gotten... I can't, like, see any comments or anything if there was any. It will be for episode 3 or onwards. I kinda wanna record just, you know, two episodes. I was, I was checking if I could upload it first, but it was gonna take a while. So I'll probably record this one, and then I'll probably head off to bed and upload while I sleep. That we get that done, but for now, we're just gonna jump straight into it. Right, there's not a, th this is the, um, I'm not ever gonna check this by the way, that, that's just the microtransaction store. You pay real money to get outfits there. We don't really care about that right now. That shark is gonna have to make me one of their uh, creators before I do that. Let's see, we have uh we're gonna we're gonna go for the disruption here, I think. Uh but this one has scriptures. Ah uh, fuck it, we'll do this. Uh this map is gonna be harder. Because we have a uh, special uh special event going on on it. Whenever you get to the red screen like this, sometimes when you load in you'll be sitting in the ship where all of us are in low levels and they all have prisoner garbs, so chances are it's going to be a rough one, but that's fine. Um, whenever you load into a mission and you get put into the uh, spaceship and not into this ready screen, that means that the mission is already going on, so you should be holding down right-click whenever you see if you just load into the ship right away without the ready screen. That way you'll be blocking whenever you spawn in, in case you're uh, surrounded by a horde or something. But since this is the start of the, uh, the the map, we don't know how to think about that. It's gonna be interesting to. Well, I've I've used both of these weapons before because the cello can have them. I can't remember. I didn't check what model of the knife we got. It might be one that I haven't used, but they're all kind of similar. I know that the there is one knife that is called the Lacerator, I think, and that one has a really high base crit. It has like 30% base crit, if I understood it correctly. Don't quote those numbers from me, I might might be wrong. So, since we have new weapons, I'm just gonna check what I can do. There's an overhead if I block push, and I, I do a sucker punch if I do the special attack. Did I have the assassin stat? this weapon our dodges are very very long you see if I if I dodge off this I almost fly I also have the revolver it has a can hit with it with the special not very useful I haven't used revolver too much I used to start with it on the psyker the earlier beta beta I should know Pretty sure I didn't one shot that. I'm pretty sure he had hit it with a power attack already. Oh, we actually cleave. That's not what daggers usually do, but I'll take it. Usually, with daggers and axes, you get stuck when there's just one mob. It could be because we're low difficulty. That might change as soon as we got the three. Where monsters get more mass, but usually they can be quite annoying to deal with horns. Because you just you can just hit one mob at a time, basically. Basically, basically, I'm gonna be saying basically a lot. It's my, uh, it's my uh, I'm gathering my thoughts, Warren. Gonna shoot that. Pretty sure I get ammo by default. I didn't read. I should have read more. I think I get ammo when I kill elites and specials in my coherency, right? I'm gonna join this life pack. Um, whenever you shoot a teammate like that, you don't deal any damage to them. That might be added later. Uh, in Vermithite 2, you used to deal range damage to your teammates on higher difficulties, on the 3 and above. Um, but in this game, at least in the beta, you don't deal any damage, but they eat up the bullet. That's a monstrosity that spawn. I shouldn't have taken that ammo, I really didn't need it. 
Uh, so if if you're trying to shoot something and an Ugrin runs in front of you, they'll eat all of your bullets. You won't deal any damage to them, but you won't deal any damage to the enemies that you were trying to shoot. I'm pretty sure there's a monster spawn, so we kind of want to chill here for a bit, but it might be stuck somewhere. Kind of seems like it, because we can't... I haven't seen it yet. They, they usually pop up pretty fast. Oh, it was behind us. I think. Yeah, it's the it's the beast of Nurgle. I I could take a couple of shots at it from here, I guess, but I wanna try to get to my teammates. This is a monstrosity. They spawn randomly throughout maps. I'll go into detail how it works later, or at least how it used to work in Vermintide 2, as far as I know. I'm trying to wait for it to turn around so that I can shoot it on the back. It's weak spot there, as you can see, we get uh, yellow hit markers. Now load fully, pop ult, pop a couple of good shots. There's a trap there. Seems like the, the Gabsworth dude is going for it. He took it. He got eaten. I think I can nade it. Oh, I spit, it on, spit him out, anyways. If you stagger the uh, boss when he eats somebody, when it eats somebody, it will spit them out. So if you, for an example, do a Ogryn ult, apparently my nades don't, doesn't work for that. So it might exclusively be the, um, the Ogryn ult actually. Oh, he was trying to eat me there. I still don't know how to dodge. The f how dodge the eating part. Oh, he... Oh, <laughs> he threw him through the map. We have to end it, by the way. Ah, that, that's that's gonna be happening for a long time, by the way. You should... Vermintide still has a bunch of bugs. This game is n probably never gonna be completely bug-free, but hopefully... Hopefully they can at least make it run kinda decently. <laughs> That's my biggest gripe right now. Uh, I'm gonna yoink these nades before somebody else does, because I used all of mine on the boss. I really want the nades in case we get weird horde spawns, or if I become alone or something. I already have a med kit. I don't wanna get rid of it. Can't help him, really. Gonna leave us. You shouldn't be too obsessed with li with like making sure everybody picks up the health packs or whatever. Um, you have to remember that time is very much a resource in this game. Uh, the longer time you spend, the more hordes are gonna spawn in, the more elites and specials are gonna spawn in, which will in turn pick up your health and ammo, right? So you need to try to. Oh, didn't didn't we pick it up? I think I picked them up. I think they're just being weird. But maybe not. Bit upsetting. I'm gonna throw in a nade here. I shouldn't have underhanded it. That was silly. I should have done a proper throw. I really don't want to jump down there in a corner with a dagger. I don't have enough cleave. Oh yeah, I mentioned that this map was going to be hard. So you can see when you select the map, you can also see it in the map if you hold down tab like I'm doing right now. You can see on the left side there, it says um, special condition. That means there's like a... Well, there's a special condition on the map, the mission. And this one specifically is new. I ha oh, oops, I haven't played it too much. Uh, it got put in now with the full release and it's uh, should be less hordes but more specials and elites there's one that's very was very common it basically every mission had it during the, uh, the the beta which was called endless hordes which just means that there's gonna be a horde spawning in a lot and apparently more elites also 
diamond tight there. Bunch of chaos guardsmen here that we're gonna take care of. I'm eating hits because I'm not dodging properly. That was very bad. Oh, okay. I thought I would be able to outrange it. I dodged too early. Oh, okay. I'm taking a lot of damage that I shouldn't right now. Uh, if I was really selfish, I could pop the heal for me here. I'm not gonna though, I'm just gonna pray that I play better. If some of my teammates... I thought I had a dagger out. If, if one of my teammates take takes a decent amount of damage, I'll pop it. In the disguise of healing them. But I can't really justify dropping it for myself. Uh, if you have... Uh, right now I'm using a revolver so I don't want to do it, but if you have a weapon like a last gun on or something with a lot of ammo, whenever you see somebody getting stabbed in the back by a regular mob, it's pretty good to shoot it. I have very few shots with this revolver so I'm not gonna do it too often. Also, <laughs> I feel like my ammo is more worthwhile than my teammates HP right now. Although these guys haven't been playing too terribly. They seem to be aware so far. You need to, whenever you play online, you don't have to be toxic about it, but you need to kind of figure out how you're prioritizing what's happening. If you have one guy that dies a lot and runs off alone and two other guys that plays pretty decently, you should probably stick closer to the two guys who's playing decently and just leave the guy who's running away on his own to do his own. But if you if like all of them are playing playing decently, one of them runs off a little bit, you should follow them. But that's usually what I how I think about it at least. Um you should be a little bit selfish with when it comes to like ammo and grenades too. You shouldn't take big ammo packs when you have only shot one shot. Um, so like na right now I have decent amount of ammo so I'm not gonna yoink them. He had decent ammo too but he joined them anyways. Um, oh yeah, right, I need this because I'm not a sellout. Uh, I'll grab it because there's so much of it around. This event can be a little bit hard. I played this map once before. I'm gonna put down multiple of these and then you need to... Sometimes they fail, like, uh, like in the last mission and then you need to go and repair them. Don't really know what's a good spot on this map. Up here might actually be decent. They jump down here. I'm they probably can stand up there and shoot down, actually. Which wouldn't be very good. I need to consider that I'm playing dagger and I have low power, so I should be playing a bit with an open escape route. Can't really deal well with being surrounded on this character. That's an overhand. We can do the mini game here, so I'm just gonna throw myself at it right away. Kill the bomber, that's very good. With this weapon, it feels like you probably only want to light attack hordes and power attacks elites like this one. Although I'm gonna ult for it. It up here or down there. Box pressers are scary. Two shot it, very nice. Uh, that's a hostile grenade there, but they deal damage to the enemies, anyways. Sometimes having a bomber around can be good if you're in an open area where you can run around in circles. 
just bait it to throw out bombs and kite the hordes into it. So this is kind of a scary situation for my character, but they're handling it pretty well. I'm throwing one nade. I probably shouldn't. I should probably keep those. They seem to be handling hordes pretty well. This guy is doing the event. So I'm gonna run after him. I shot one of the guys following him, but he doesn't seem to notice the other one. It's a bad spot. I shouldn't be here. The guy ran up there. I have two teammates over there. I'm gonna stay at this thingy here. Probably not the smartest. Let's see if I can get it before the mobs. Ah, I fucked up. I turned away too far away. I was gonna see if I could do it before they arrived, but I can't. So now I need to kill mobs and wait either for a teammate to arrive and do the event. Or just clean them out and then start the event. There's a trapper to the left. Oh, it's running up to them. I saw it. Oh, it's running up to him. I'm gonna start moving in his direction. He killed it though, so we're fine. The trappers can be quite hard to hear. They, they've improved the sound of them now and today. They used to be way harder to hear, but... They're still a bit tricky to tell where they are. But you can hear when one of them spawns in without too much of an issue. They have a very distinct voice and like a, a little laugh there. Wow, he was fucking fast. Did he ult? Oh, he would have screamed something silly if he did. Empty chest. I'm I'm feeling pretty confident with these guys. None of them have really misplayed. I'm pretty sure all of these are either Vermintide veterans or they have just played other characters. Most likely both. You can hold on X by the way to inspect your weapons. Move your mouse around to like turn it. You can do that with everything, so you can even do it with medkits. And grenades. Very cool. I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm, taking, I'm the guy who's taking the most damage in this round, so these guys are like better than me right now. Very... Comforting. We're not really checking for scriptures. That's. I'm not too worried about it. Um, and what I mean by scriptures, sometimes on some missions you get a bonus objective. You can see in the upper right corner. Uh, and scriptures is there's books hidden randomly throughout the map. And if you take them you get extra money, extra experience. I don't think you get any extra crafting materials, but they might have changed that. Or it might always have been that way, that it gives you like a some percentage bonus, but I don't I it never felt like it. I don't think it does. And uh, getting them would be nice, but at the same time if you pick up two of them and then you die because of it. Oh speaking of there's a book here. I'm gonna take it. Show them that there's a med here. So they take up the uh, extra item spot. So med kit, ammo pack. Oh, we got another boss spawn. Oh no, it's just an ambush, okay. You can cancel the reload by aiming down sights with right click. I really shouldn't go in there, that's silly of me. Let's stay out here with the Ulgrin. So yeah, even if we just get one, you get more if you get all of them, obviously. I think you get a little bit of a bonus, actually, if you get all of them. But you still get a bit more extra experience and 
money if you just get one or two. And since we're we're doing so well right now, I I don't really feel worried about leading the med. I'm liking the revolver though. Uh, hopefully I can get a really good one later on. It's not that demon else is it? No, I think it's just uh, these boys just standing around, not being very happy. All of them have decent ammo. Dog spawned in. Early on, it's easy to mistake that. Hound spawn in noise with horde spawning in. Sounded like it was up here, but maybe not. Oh, I might have messed up. No, we're fine. Must have been a small boy hitting him. They gave me the red hit marker. I'm gonna walk to the side as soon as possible so that. I don't eat up too many of his shots. Truly, you are an agent of death. Ba, ba, ba. Mm, I'm wasting ammo. I shouldn't be doing this. This gun is made for shooting elites and specials, not one random. Drag boy just chilling. You can open two doors here. Not really sure. I think it doesn't matter. Other dogs spawned in. Ah, they don't seem to know how to dodge the dogs, at least. Oops. These lead to the same area, right? Yeah, okay, so it doesn't matter which one you open. Um, th these guys are probably Vermintide players. But first time playing Darktown, maybe? The dogs are a bit weird if you're used to the assassins from Vermintide. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe they just don't. They aren't as try-hard as me. Who knows? Like I feel confident with them. Sorry, I can... Uh, sucks. Luckily we have an Ogren. I'm gonna stick close to the Ogren. Just because he's... He should be the one carrying. I'll probably pick one up anyways, but... Sniper, it's my... Oh, somebody else killed it, okay. There are like, class roles in this game. They're not as specific as in, like, let's say World of Warcraft, but generally, the general idea is, it depends a bit on your weapon, I guess, but the general idea is, uh, my class is supposed to kill Specials uh, like snipers and bombers and oxpressors and such. Uh, the melee classes, the sellout, and the uh, the uh, ogreners supposed to 
take care of hordes a bit more, or just like control them, keep them off the backline. Zealot is pretty good at killing stuff too, it has really high DPS, while the Ogren seems to be a little bit more tanky. I haven't played it though, so I don't I don't know for sure. They probably are pretty decent at killing stuff too. Uh, Psychers are supposed to kill elites mostly, but they're pretty good at killing specials too. But that doesn't mean you should like not shoot at specials whenever you see them if you're a Zealot or a Ogren. Right, I thought I was a Psyker there or a Zealot. That's gonna happen a couple of times by the way. You're gonna see me ult in very strange situations. Don't we have uh, a air bar? There. Are there no more? No. We need to carry three of those upstairs. So I'm just staying down here too. And the other one. A rager just walked straight past me. I'm pretty sure some of the um, final event stuff that you do forces. Oh. Forces elites to spawn in. I'm pretty sure, for example, that you always get ragers here when you walk up, at least with the first battery thingy. Contagion sample, I'm sorry. They look exactly like all of the other cell batteries and ammo containers that you carry, but. Now, throw this one out. Checking if there's someone more. There is. Dog is probably heading towards me. Ah, it got delayed for some reason. They helped me though, so we're fine. I uh, I block pushed and dodged too early there. It looked like it was gonna jump, but it got like stuck on the stairs somehow. Jumped a bit later. Yeah, it, he hasn't played a lot of Dark Knight. He tried to climb the ladder. Playing very well. So I, I'm thinking they probably played Vermintide before. I have two shots. Where's the sniper? Oh. I get ammo back when I do that. I get two shots. So. The Ogre takes that. Fuck. Oh, I pushed it, but I didn't get knocked back. I think it's because I'm using the the uh, the dagger, probably. Oh, we already have. Oh, so it spawns more containers than you need. That's interesting. On the on the map we completed. Uh, the last episode, you only spawn five, you, and it's always like that. There will only be five, so you always need to check, and you always need to check both of them. I'm pretty sure you can't have five in the same train, but I'm not sure. I've had four in the same train, but I never had five. I'm gonna yoink that. I really need it. The bomber, we don't really need to kill it. You don't get any extra experience or anything for killing more stuff. You get experience and money depending on if you have the books and uh, if you how long you get in the map with a bonus if you complete it, of course. But if we die here, we will get more money and experience than if we died. 
midway through the map. But, uh, it's just a horn. Hey, come over here. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, I don't remember. Experience things. Uh, you don't get more if you we, if we stay there and kill the horde. We don't get more experience or anything. They're just there to slow you down. Pretty much. Very cool. Do we get level 5? No, oh, we get level 4. Pretty decent. Probably get weapon unlocks. Yeah. Headhunter Autogon. They've changed those. They're pretty good. I don't like the axes very much. The Devil Claw Sword is very nice though. We've got a last gun, a different last gun. Du, du, du. That went very well. 30 minutes. We'll play another one. I'm gonna shoot for uh, one hour videos, I think. Oh, I didn't check how much space I have, but I, I should be fine. I did, sure. I did clear some up. No, I, no, 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 I'm gonna tab out. It's gonna look really weird for you. Don't worry about it. We're good. We're fine. Over 500 gigabytes. Oh, another cutscene. Very cool. We're skipping it. They might have changed those now for the release. Uh, I don't really care, honestly. Need to go over here and talk to the... Oh, we unlocked the crafting already. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll show this, but we won't use it. So you can take your stuff. Then you, they, they haven't added all of them yet, which is kind of sucky because the game is released, but whatever. You can concentrate stuff. So the materials we find throughout the map, we can use them to upgrade the tire of our weapon. This won't give it any more damage or anything. It will give it new perks, uh, which could in turn give you more damage, but I wouldn't do this until you're later on in the game. Um, I would say like around level 20-ish if you find like a pretty well-rolled gun that you really enjoy using or melee weapon. Then it might be worth it, but honestly the smarter thi thing is to just wait. We have white uh, green weapons there, so we can check on them here. Yep. These are the perks. This is what happens when they go green. You get melee critical hit damage, you get one stamina, melee damage against specialist, range weak spot damage, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't really care about that though. What I mainly care about is the damage percentage and the other stats. This auto gun here is actually pretty alright. This last gun is better though. That's a I I, I wanna use this sword, but it has so low damage. Might get this shovel. I guess. Really. Old too. Uh yeah, let's get the the shovel. Do we have enough money Precious for the complete. Last gun. Uh, we'll stick to the revolver. I I enjoyed the revolver. It felt good. Um, I said I was gonna cut those out, but I guess we'll keep the do in episode in at least early on because I need to buy a lot until we get like to a good stage where I feel like I'm doing the difficulty pretty well. We can do different difficulties now. We could do four. No, we can't. We need like, six. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do three though. Uh, we should probably not do one with a special condition, though. Not one with Grimoires, either. It would be more experience if we get out with the Grimoires, but... Since the game released today, there's gonna be a lot of new people, so we're gonna take this one. I think we just played this map, but that's that's gonna happen a lot with this current map system, sadly. We're gonna just take a regular... Regular mission with no extra doodads, just to feel how... Uh, Difficulty 3 feels. I equipped the shovel, right? I did. Uh, 
Very slow matchmaking. Strange. Oh, there we go. Da, da, da. Read the screen. Gonna be upset because I'm low level. It's fine. That villain, that's a uh, randomly generated. You're under 15, don't play fucking Alice. Um, yeah, he left, that's fine. So, uh, they might be correct. They, they're probably correct if I were a new player. I should be able to pull my weight. I might not. If we find that I have a really hard time doing my, uh, my role, then we'll not play level 3, at least not until level 5-ish. Level 5, level 10. Uh, you can certainly do it at like level 10 for sure though. It depends a little bit on the class and what talents you get. Probably wise to wait until level 5 so that you get your first talent point at least, but I'm, I'm feeling confident. We'll check it out. Worst case scenario, we lose. Happens. You're gonna lose a lot in this game. Just how it goes. Okay, so is this the same travel? It is. Okay. Some, some, no, oh, it's a different one because we have a sweep on the third attack. I think we had an overhead on the other one. Some of the weapons have like, oh, they rejoined. <laughs> it's the same guy. Um, uh, some of the weapons have different marks. Most of the weapons have different marks. And that means they have like different damage profiles and different attack patterns. I'm gonna play a bit carefully now since I don't really know how much damage we're gonna take. Da, 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 da. There's a decent chance that this Fanatica guy is gonna be toxic. No, wait, he, he was named something else, right? Oh, he was named Drake. Never mind. This is a different guy, he just looks the same. I'm also gonna stick close to my teammates here and not run off and look for stuff. Fine. I'm not gonna use a grenade on this guy. I wanna save it in case we get into hordes. But it's just a lonesome elite like that. Even though it's a bulwark they can be quite annoying to kill because people don't just usually just hit the shield. Um, but if it's just one can just go around it. Oh, it's just one. Oh. Don't know the damage profile of this weapon. Oh, I'm guessing that stab is pretty good against armor. I heard a trapper though. It's my role to make sure that it doesn't disrupt them. They are better at killing armor deletes than me. Oh, is that? Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a. Man. Right now the bots aren't like really, they, they, they're just level 1 marksman, I think, ranger, I mean. Trying to get headshots, but not very used to the iron side quite yet. I should be killing the special a lot more. Not really gonna shoot the mutant though. Uh, good thing to know, by the way. Uh, those guardsmen, the chaos guardsmen, these guys, and and the the ones with the goggles, or any any opponent with a gun, really. All of these guys, except perhaps shotgunners, I guess. The the ones you can't tag, but they they have a gun. Um, whenever you shoot towards them, they will try to take cover. So sometimes if you have a lot of them shooting at you, it could be good to just throw a few shots towards them. Get a boss spawn here. It sounded like the plug boy again. Oh, it's a plague ogren. It means the weak spot is the head. 
aggroed on me, so I'm just gonna focus on not taking damage. Maybe I can... Oh, that's a lot of guardsmen, so I'm gonna throw a nade there. Focus on killing these. The bosses are scary, but they're, they're pretty low on the like priority list of what you should kill. These guys will kill us before the boss does, most likely. That is why I swap to them. Also, my friends are my teammates are killing them, so... I'm actually gonna grab that, since I used one nade. I don't think anybody else has just yet. Got well, one shot these in the chest, apparently. Then no. Uh, oh yeah, you could also tell when I was hitting the guardsman there that my shovel wasn't was like stopping mid strike. Sign that I have a little cleave for this difficulty, or with this weapon mainly. Seems to do fine on power attacks though. As long as you aim for the head. And this is what I meant with. Um, when we created our character, I mentioned that height is, can be a little bit important. It doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna grab the heal. It doesn't matter too too much, but in when you're fighting hordes like that, you wanna have you wanna be a little bit taller than them so that it's easier to sweep them like that. If you aim up, if you have to aim up because you're short, then you get like you might miss a row behind them because you don't have the correct angle, right? Waiting for the fire to disappear. Just gonna jump down straight away. There's a pox bomber behind. Oh, he walked off there, okay. Just gonna do power attacks. I could throw a knee there, but they're, they're probably fine. Light attacks because there's a few mobs. I shot through the legs of the ogre in there, I think. Ruler might actually penetrate. Not sure, I haven't tested. The last gun doesn't, and the auto gun doesn't. Or didn't, at least. They might have changed it too. Med station here, I'm gonna yoink it. We're not gonna come back here anyways. I'm gonna close this door so that we don't get stuff spawning behind us. They, some mobs can open doors, but I don't think all of them can. This is actually a lot of reapers and stuff. Reapers are scary. And very tanky. We are we're we're a little bit early in this difficulty too, so we we're not really dealing the damage we should be doing. Like my revolver should be one shotting those guys in a headshot. But we should be fine. And if we can complete like one or two of these, we'll we'll get so much experience. Kinda wish I could have joined that ammo, but super necessary. I'm gonna stick to Keeping my ammo for elites for a bit. Scary, I'm gonna throw a... Enemy sighted over there. That... Chaos Guardsman shooting at us. Yes. Doing a quick check if there's any ammo. Thought that was a shotgunner. There wasn't. Box burst behind. I'm gonna try to make sure it dies. Where it reaches my teammate. They hurt a lot, those guys. They can also knock you off ledges and stuff and instantly kill you that way. Jump down. Whenever mobs have to jump down ledges like that, like that Rager did there, they can't attack you 
and also I'm pretty sure it was like this in Vermintide 2. It might not be like this in Darktide, but in Vermintide 2, if anything, with a shield, uh, climbed something, jumped down a ledge, or climbed up a ledge, they uh, they don't use the shield. They can't. It's like they don't have a shield, basically. So it's very good to try to force them to climb stuff, if possible. So if you have a scary elite when you're upstairs, like I had there, if you jump down, you get some free hits on it when you jump down. And it follows you. Uh, I'll grab it, I guess. Everybody else had white ammo icons, so... So far so good though. No close calls. My teammates are playing good, they're not taking a lot of damage. is probably fine. I feel like I'm pulling my weight somewhat. I probably wouldn't be able to carry if everybody died. But I mean, if everybody else dies, it's probably not my fault. <laughs> Very rare. Not impossible though. But, believe it or not, you can do all of this completely by yourself. It's extremely hard, but you can solo the maps without a uh, without even bots. In reality, uh, it's a bit harder in Dark Tide than it was in Vermintide, of course, because of ranged mobs, and we don't really know how the game fully functions just yet. But it is. I I would be very surprised if absolutely not possible. Should be. Oh, okay, he, he's just standing there. That was a bit rude, wasn't it? Okay, but he explodes himself anyways, so... I can't shoot that because I have a lot of horde on me. There are... Um, you can get... perks on weapons... that makes it so that if you kill something, you suppress nearby enemies, basically makes them hide, so that they, they can't shoot you, or hit you. If I had that there, that would I would have been able to shoot the Fox too, but I didn't, so I just trusted my teammates. That's fine, you need to do that sometimes too. Especially when... If, if these guys took a lot of damage, like a lot, then I would have tried to get that Pox Burster a little bit more, but they're doing fine so far. I shouldn't do that. I don't have the ammo for that. Oh, I should do that though, because that guy is scary. There's a sniper somewhere and a bomber. I'm looking. Sniper seems to be here. He didn't get a headshot, but kill him anyways. There's also a bomber somewhere. Kill a shotgunner, very nice. Oh, we got a, we got new uh, legs because I killed it with the final round in the chamber. Very cool. I'm letting these guys do the events. Okay. This uh, this weapon is a lot shorter than I'm used to. I full ammo, so I don't need to pick that up. Ping it so that my teammates know it's there. That's a sellout ult. Only throws out four mobs at a time, though. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna try to reload here. Well. 
have mobs hitting me. I'll try to make sure to get the bomber though. The bombers, oxbursters are like the scariest things. I'm not really too scared of a uh, uh, mutant really. Hounds can be annoying if they're in hordes, but usually, as you've seen, I'm pretty decent at dodging them. Not 100% or anything, but you know. As long as everybody is alive, they're, they're fine. No elites, so I'm not gonna shoot. You can see that I'm like aiming at everything and mashing ping. It's always good to do because sometimes um, it's sometimes it starts to spot like ragers, for an example. Under. Something like that. Fuck. Did that to be a headshot. Taking a lot of silly damage. Didn't kill him, but I stunned him at least. Can I grab the ammo now. I need to get better at headshots. That's my main. Problem. I need to get better headshots and I need to stop taking damage because I'm taking too long to aim. Generally what's good to do if you're trying to do shoot at elites or uh, specials when you have a bunch of mobs on you. You wanna do block push them and dodge so they get some distance and then take the shot. I just haven't played like that for a bit. I guess I did that on my Psyker, actually. I don't really have an excuse. I'm just bad. Be better than me. That's a headshot. I'm gonna throw down the heal here. Because we all are low except the bot, but the bot we don't never heal a bot by the way. Need to get some more healing. Rapper, that's the rapper spawning in sound. Then it makes that extra noise when it's like on the map. The last I did earlier was because it was out of bounds, but it told us that it's on the map, but it wouldn't tell us exactly where it was. When you hear that zapping noise, which they just added today, that means it's like that's where it actually is. It's done like spawning in. Whatever. Not a lot of people in. I'm surprised that the bot hasn't been replaced yet, but I guess there's not a lot of people playing threes right now. Most new players are probably checking out twos. And I guess a lot of other players are a bit insecure about playing harder than two today because there's an influx of new players. Is there an event here? No, it's just a regular horn. Gonna shoot the shotgunner. Thanks for the ping. Check in here, there's a med station. We don't really need to. We can wait with taking it. For a while. We're moving on, so we can grab it now. Okay. to focus the one that he didn't ping. Guess there's a decent chance that he's heading for the one he pinged. It didn't look like it there. But generally, if you see multiple elites like that, 
I usually go for the one that's not ping because the other guys are probably go for the one that's ping. Unless it has higher priority, but when it's two of the same type, I shouldn't be shooting like that. Grab the nades, I guess. Nice. You need hug, sleep, maybe. Yeah, the new dialogue. I like it so far. Grab them on the back, actually. We can go two ways here. I'm gonna back to my friends. I think the dog was above us there, actually. I wanna stray too far from my teammates, but I actually also wanna. Yeah, it was above us. They are still very weird in their pathing. I'm suppressed, so I can't take a decent shot. In we're doing very fine. Special condition might be a bit spicy, but probably pretty fun. We'll also have our uh, trade talent point thingy. Oops, I'm gonna try to throw down a grenade at this one. Down there, there is easier to kill than the Reaper. Actually, kind of spicy area. Luckily, the Ogren had a shield. The sense to charge them. If everybody decides to just stand and shoot at the Reapers, usually it doesn't end too well. Somebody needs to go in there and kind of stop it from shooting. I don't think they pull out the melee weapon. No, I know they don't pull out the melee weapon, but you can usually stagger them if you power attack their head. I don't think I would be able to do it with this character, right now. Upping the ammo there. If they don't want it, so I'll grab it. I don't think the bot can actually run out of ammo. Edgers. It's just a regular dude. Disable excise vault locking mechanism. Ow. All damage go through toughness. Lord and the hound. Make sure we kill this guy. There's a pox burster somewhere to we'll push that one. Got a nade here. Actually, gonna throw out two nades. Make sure we get down the bulwark. A little bit spicy there, but we're doing pretty fine. I'll throw down the heal. Make sure. Anatica. He's a sellout, so maybe he didn't want the heal. But he hasn't been playing like he's playing the low life shenanigans, so. An open chest over here. I'm gonna go check it for nades and crafting mats. I'm feeling pretty like sure that we'll be fine here, so. I can, I can run off a little bit, I think, and look for stuff. Or 
I'll show them some of my cool strats. <laughs> the 360 slide. Thickest move. And all of the Millennium. Oh, he probably wanted that actually, but. I'll grab this. I only took a little bit of corruption damage, but we're probably not going back here. Sure, that Reaper is at least low. Kind of want to make sure it didn't get up there because they, they're scary. Somehow that's not a headshot. Okay, dude. Oh, I penned! I shot through him. There's a, a sniper and it's covered, so I can't. This one's for Kydia. I'm messing up. There we go. I messed up multiple times there. Took way too much damage. Probably could have just left it and killed the Rangers instead. Oh, you can get stuff upstairs too. I'm gonna try to make sure this guy doesn't shoot. Carrier. Don't wanna run over to this guy. Okay. A lot of mobs here, so I'm just gonna get down to my big boy. Uh, I'm gonna have to push this guy. It didn't work. That's horrible. Good. Loading my gun. This is not looking too good, and I'm gonna be real with you. Have the ammo since they are doing good. I'm gonna stick to this guy. The cellot seems to not be fine, but he has the passive up probably. I really need a better gun. Starting to feel the too low damage. I'm actually gonna nay this. Help him with damaging them a bit. can press the vault door. Oh, because that's where you get the thingies. Ah, I'm stupid. That was a very silly climb. I have you Templar. I'm not a Templar though. Where's the... Need to press F a lot more. I'm wasting ammo by not doing it. Oof, that was a nice headshot there. sure where we're supposed to go after this. I haven't gotten to memorizing that part yet, so I'm just gonna follow. Gonna throw nades here. I'm 
guessing that the revolver probably penetrates friends too, teammates, but it probably deals less damage when it does. So if possible, you probably don't want to shoot through teammates. Also gives them like a... They kind of get a little bit of screen shake, like if somebody's hitting them. Checking if there's any pastille back there. Or demon teeth. Horde coming. Hey, you guys could cover me. Yeah, there's a ridge in there. Making sure we press the button before any mobs enter. I'm gonna type a uh, GG while playing here. That went well. That was way under level, but it's fine now. Ooh! Oh, that's the. Uh, that's the one that goes like a, a bunch of lasers, right? The Hellbore. Pete's Headhunter out again. Ooh, we even got a last gun from that. Exciting. Okay, we'll go over the stuff we got. We'll pick a trait and then we'll then we'll end the episode. I'll go sleep because I'm actually getting tired. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Oh man. <laughs> The performance is a bit bad, but else the game actually feels better. There was a lot of like weird stuff happening in the beta with uh, mobs, specifically the hounds, and sometimes the uh, mutants were kind of desynky and like spinning in spot and running strangely. Got new clothes too. We have 10 minutes. Okay, so we'll pick feet first. Plenish toughness on elite kill and a 30 toughness on time. 10% toughness on ranged weak spot kill. Toughness on 8 meter. Uh. Mm. I'm gonna start with confirmed kill. This one might be better, but since I'm more of a melee focused playstyle. This one is not really going to help me during hordes and stuff. Anyways, because I just shoot elites and specials, right? So this one is going to be better, because I don't really shoot hordes. Although this one could be good if you keep in mind that you have it, because you keep, you like, shoot hordes. Get your toughness back. Let's check out the weapon we got. Uh, it's a ranged weapon. It's this guy. Uh... Not too many good rolls. Gonna go check the store. Check out the cosmetics we got though. We got this one. Which is just get level 5 I think. Did get... Uh, this. These are the pants that we got I think for doing... Shamer I like the boots of these so we got... Pick that. I'm gonna keep the black armor because it fits with the pants. Ba, 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 ba. Then we're just gonna make the story real quick before we end the episode. 14 damage. Uh, but it has cleaved. I don't. I don't think. I think we'll just keep the shovel for a bit. I think we're gonna look at guns specifically. This one has a pretty good roll, 33, 27, 33. The last gun though. Burst fire precise. I haven't tried this one before actually. It's a decent stopping power roll too. I wish it could tell you what brackets it could roll. Uh, whatever. Gonna grab the the gray one. Cheaper and 
I don't really care about the one extra stat. There is a story set in 7 minutes also. I do have 10k though, so I don't really lose anything on buying this. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm go Off screen I'm gonna wait for the story set, and I'm gonna check it, and then I'll show you next episode if I remember, hopefully. Or you'll see, I guess, if I carry another gun. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, please, please press the like button and uh, please write a little comment uh, either if you have something that you want me to know or if you uh, you just want to say a nice video that helps it helps a lot and it's very little very very little effort for you i put out one hour video please uh, appreciate me a little bit uh, thank you very much see you next time bye bye i fucking i fucking hate begging for that shit it's so stupid